Hi all. Uh, welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in our uh, previous session, we have seen how uh, we get put the files in uh, SFTP uh, location. Now in this exercise, let's what 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 we need to do is I want a use case where I wanted to get the files from uh, SFTP location and then uh, read those files and for each file convert that uh, file into xml format so let's see how uh, that can be done so for this purpose i've created this sftp package and this and our details still remain the same so with the cache log i'll just say yeah and here first I wanted to log in. So for login, I will be using the service uh, which is in pub.client.sftp login. And uh, that thing is called SFTP test demo. So I'll just place it here. Yeah. So it's not in the cache block, but here. Yeah. It should be there inside the drive uh, block. Once we got the um, uh, login is successful. So what I need to do is I wanted to list the files that are present in this SFTP demo location. So for that purpose, we need to use the service. Uh, dot client SFTP colon ls for listing the files, we can use ls. So, and we know the path as slash SFTP dev. I wanted to look into this path. So let's say if we don't know the path that is present, uh, I mean, we're not told the path that is present or they just said whatever the file location is present, load the files from uh, that directory. So we can still do that. But first I'll show you in this way, then later on I'll show in that way. So till now let's debug and see what will come. Or let me run it directly. Yeah. So it has listed me the files present in the directory, one dot JSON and all those things. But if you observe in uh, when they are listing it, we are getting this uh, uh, files to one is root and subdirectory and all those things. So I want to avoid those. So in order to do that, let's loop over the directory list and do a branch on uh, file name. And we will we are interested in only the files that are coming with JSON. So I'll keep a regex saying JSON and it will ignore the other ones. And once we got the file, what I wanted is uh, I wanted to uh, get the file from that location. For that we can use get so what do we need to map in get? We need to map the directory list and file name. So once we get the file, we are getting it as a stream there. I want to parallelly form the uh, XML file also. So what I'll do is I'll 
just do this here. So I'll replace the JSON with uh, with the XML file. So for that I'll use the replace function. So in string is this it's one dot JSON that thing will come. So I'll search for JSON and replace it with XML and take this value as uh, I'll reuse the file name which we used previously. So that is in large flat file. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this. The requirement is to place the file. So I'll just paste it here in the local directory. Enable. And here we are getting the file name as .json, right? So instead of .json, I'll just keep this. And uh, in the input, we are anyway getting the file as one.json. So if I replace JSON with XML, it will be one.xml. So I'll just go here, place the file and keep it as this. So it will be file counter, will have the values as one.json and all those things. So once I get the stream, so I wanted to convert the stream to document, which is, uh, I know the data coming is as JSON. So I will son colon JSON stream to document. JSON stream is nothing but the content stream. And the document will consist of the data. Uh, it will come as IData object there. So once I get that, what I wanted to do is I wanted to convert this to XML. So up dot XML document to XML string. And I'll map this implicit. And here, instead of JSON string, I want it to be XML data. That's it. So our requirement is completed till in here. So delete these files. Now let me run this now. So what are now what now will well, what will happen now is so our service will loop over the directory list and get each JSON file from the directory and uh, for each JSON convert that JSON to the XML and then place that into the uh, local directory where I wanted it to be placed. So I'll just run this. So it is saying no such file present. So let's see why, what is happening here. So nothing has come here. So that means it has errored out. So you can see the error also here. parameter json stream yeah because i didn't get that file data there so debug as so login is successful list is done remember we can even do the error handling based on the written codes here i'll show so if it is successful, we are getting the return code as uh, uh, zero here. So I'll go in now. So it is avoiding the dot dot and it is going into the JSON now. Yeah. And so I gave it as a FTP demo. So it went here. It is checking for the file name. Let's see what the return code is. Return code for now is zero when I do a get. See, the return code uh, return two. So that means there is some issue happened. It is saying that uh, there is no file present. So let's see what should be the 
uh, let's see, let's give it as like this now. So, tell now doors. This is path. Then this is the file name. And perform the variable substitution. So let's debug it again. So it is trying to look at the path and uh, get that. And it is not able to find there. So that is why it is throwing there. Huh? So let's debug it again. So login is successful. It went, it got the file now. Consider on the written code here. See, now it, it got executed successfully. And written code is still zero. I'm changing the file name, file counter dot this thing. I'm changing, converting the stream to document. So document is converted and I got the people list. And I'm converting the document to XML string. See, I even got the XML data now. And I'm putting that into the file location with the name one dot XML. So I gave the whole path here. And then done. Similarly, if I execute now, everything should go and it creates all the files in this. So now if I open any of the file, see, you got the XML and these files are on your local and you got the XML. So this is how you get the files from SFTP and then store them in your uh, local system. Thank you.